So we're back here at the EPIC project. I um, had a day where I was feeling not too bad, so I managed to get the rear end housing into the car for mock-up. And I'm not sure how well this is going to work, because there's not a lot of light under here, but let's see what I can show you. So, you know, again, the stock suspension on the, the Vauxhalls was pretty much exactly Fox Body Mustang. So that's what I'm using for lower brackets. These are from Racecraft, so they've got multiple positions there. And, uh, you know, upper brackets um, are just tacked on right now, too. I've only got the one upper control arm in there right now. Um, and the funny thing is, let me see if I can get under here further. This is a bit of a contortion, because while I'm on the rotisserie, I don't have the car upside down where it's easy to see this stuff. but. If we, uh, if we get right under it, um, that is actually an adjustable um, upper control arm from UMI that is for a early A-body GM. So it's the exact same control arms that I've got in my uh, in my GTO. The the length uh, was exactly perfect uh, for the Vauxhall. Anyway, what I've been doing. Uh, my apologies for the camera work. I'll we'll try and edit this. And maybe not. Anyway, with the plumb bob here, uh, I was working out the four link details. So, um, you know, from the driver's side to the passenger side, just so I can get a nice square line here. And the long piece of tape is um, is the dimension of the lower control arm. The short piece of tape is the dimensions from the upper control arm. And then from those points, I can I can measure the vertical heights, and then do all the four link math. And you know, about 30 years ago, I wrote a program. Uh, to calculate the instant center. Uh, so maybe I will actually skip to that. Uh, so for those of you that aren't sure what I'm talking about with four link, if we look at the rear suspension, um, you can ignore the front suspension on this uh, slide. It's just something I had handy for one of my lessons. But we've got two upper control arms. We've got two lower control arms. So in total, we've got four. If you take the line of action uh, and extend it through lower control arms, and then do the same thing through the upper control arms, uh, those two lines of action will eventually um, intersect unless they're completely parallel. Uh, and the point that they intersect is what we refer to as uh, the instant center. Okay, so here's a Fortran program I wrote like 100 years ago to calculate the instant center location for a four link. And if we, uh, if we take the values just as measured with the existing geometry um, that the Epic's got in there right now, um, and the datum here is uh, is located at the tire contact uh, patch. The x direction is going to be forward aft, and the y direction is going to be the, the vertical location. So, uh, lower control arm we start um, at zero. Uh, the y value, and this is going to be the height that I'm measuring with the car up on the rotisserie. So, when I put in a value here of uh, 26 uh, and a half inches, um, you know, realize you got to subtract about 19 inches off that to get a true value um, from the uh, the road surface. Um, X value is going to be the length of the lower control arms, which is 24.5. And the height at the front of the lower control arm is also 26.5. They're dead level uh, right now. Um, X value of the upper control arm at the rear end housing is uh, zero as, uh, as well. Um, y value there on the housing end was 35 and a half. Um, length in the X direction. Uh, was 11 inches of the upper control arm, and now here's the value that I'm going to start playing with, is the height of the front of the upper control arm on the on the frame side. So, uh, the existing uh, suspension geometry gives us a height right now of 31.5 inches, uh, and that calculates out an instant center length of uh, only 24.75. Now, um, the lower control arms are 24.5 long, um, and uh, they're at a height of 26.5. So this puts the instant center actually almost exactly at the uh, front pivot point of the lower control arm. So it's like having a ladder bar uh, in the car right now. Um, so you don't get the you don't get the benefits of, of the four link. But I'm going to rerun this uh, again, and uh, uh, I'm just going to edit out all the stuff in between uh, and cut to the chase. But I'm going to take that front of the upper control arm mount on the chassis side there and then start raising it up in one inch increments and see what happens to the uh, to the instant centers. Okay, so if we go one inch uh, up, so 32.5, 
Uh, that now gives me an instant center length of uh, 33 inches, which is about a third the wheelbase of the car, so that's definitely going in the right direction. That's still going to be a pretty aggressive uh, instant center location, so we're going to rerun it again going up uh, two inches and see what happens. Okay, so two inches up is, uh, is going to put us at uh, 33.5. Uh, that gives us an instant center length now of 49 and a half inches, which is, um, you know, about half the wheelbase uh, of the car, so um, looking better. So I'm going to try one more, going up three inches, and I'm guessing that's going to put us about at the wheelbase uh, of the car, and that's probably as long as it's ever going to, uh, to need to, uh, to be, so uh, we'll rerun that one. Okay, so three inches up is going to be 34.5, and yeah, there we go. So, oh, just ran into the camera. Um, that gives us, hopefully this is still in focus, that gives us an instant center like the 99 inches, which is actually more than the wheelbase uh, of the car. Uh, so, again, that's about as long as I'm ever going to need to be. Okay, so the plan is to, uh, to raise, um, raise up the front of the upper control arm on the frame side and give us a few different mounting locations so that we can adjust things. And then I've got the lower control arm mounts on the housing side that have four different positions there at one inch increments too. So um, I can adjust the lower control arm and then I'll be able to adjust the upper control arm so that'll give me a whole bunch of different four link uh, positions. And this is all still kind of within the definition of uh, stock rear suspension um, on that thing. So anyway, that's the plan. So looking at the inside of the car, uh, the upper control arm mount is actually right there. And to try and get the instant center location that I want, um, it needs to go up about three inches. So uh, the plan is to actually just cut the floor all the way across um, here and then raise it up the three inches. And that's the, the height of the tape measure sitting here. Um, and that would be cutting the frame um, here as well. So um, I would just box that in uh, between the bulkhead and um, basically making another bulkhead as I raise this. Uh, this section, and of course the trans tunnel um, transition there can uh, can be cut out, and that can be flattened once that all comes up uh, three inches uh, as well. And then I'll remake the upper control arm brackets um, underneath to give me three different positions with uh, with one inch um, differences in the, in the position. So that'll give me three instant center locations: one at 99 inches, one at 49 inches, and then if I want to get stupid, one at like 18 inches. Um, which I'll probably never use. And then with the three positions I have on the lower control arms on the housing end, um, I'm going back to the brackets um, under here, which you can't see because I have the lights off. Uh, and it doesn't want to focus. Come on, there we go. Uh, you know, again, that's going to give me some more adjustment that I can fine tune instant center location with, uh, with that. So well. that's uh, kind of where we are um, right now. And, uh, yeah, when I feel energy again, I'll uh, pull that housing out again and actually fully weld up uh, all those brackets. And once I have enough money in my bank account again, um, I'll order up some axles and uh, we'll just keep picking away at this thing. Uh, so that'll be it for now. Uh, more videos to come. Um, so like everybody else says in these videos, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I do appreciate the comments uh, for sure. So I've already gotten some... Uh, uh, some good information from the comments. So, um, yeah, thanks for that, and uh, we'll see you next time.